Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another collab project pan video. Surprise! I uh, am doing this <laughs> probably against my better judgment. I have a bunch of other things going on right now currently and a couple of more project pans coming up but I figured I would go ahead and get this filmed before I have a chance to change my mind and change the products that I've decided to put into this project pan so um let's go ahead and get started with this so this is a project pan that was created by flora lisa from flora lisa beauty and she invited a bunch of us in a instagram chat to join this project pan there is a long list of women that are doing this project pan so i'm going to go ahead and link everybody down below in a google document and then you can see who is participating in this project pan so this project pan is called budget beauties and it begins on august 6th and i believe we go all the way um through the beginning of the year so this this is just a project pan to close out the end of the year and really finish strong with um, some added numbers to our project pan empties for the year. So this project pan is um, based on budget or drugstore makeup. Flora Lisa had um, you know, seen a hole in the project panning community where it doesn't seem like anybody's really done an all, project, all drugstore project pan, at least not on a large collaborative scale like this. I'm sure people have done it here and there, but um, as a collab or kind of um, big following type project pan um, we haven't really seen it out there in the community we've seen all the um, seasonal project pans and things like that um, but not really a fully drugstore budget kind of project pan so she asked us to pick about four or five drugstore products anything beauty related to um, put in this project pan so I will go ahead and get started with the products that I chose for this project pan I really had a hard time with this I have so many things going on in project pans I didn't really want to double up on the types of products that I had in project pans but I kind of just went with some things that I think I could make progress on and that's you know a broken record here but that's what you guys have been hearing me say in all of my project pans on my channel this year is just working towards progress finishing up what I can but making progress on other things and really using my collection so I'm gonna go ahead and start with something that I already have major pan on this is the Maybelline dream matte powder I came across this in going through one of my bags and I have major major pan on this I really only have this ring here what I may do is is take a picture of this as it looks right now repress this take a picture as it looks after it's repressed and begin using it um, from that point today is the 29th of July so this project doesn't start for about another week or so and um, I have time to go ahead and do that before I start using this product so I think that that's what I'm going to do um, maybe not right away but I think I will sometime before the next update go ahead and um, repress this take a picture of it like I said before I do and then take a picture of it after I do and you know let you know where what it looks like from the point at which I repressed it and um, go from there so that is the first product in my budget beauties project pan I then chose a um, primer product what I found is that the current primer that I'm using the L'Oreal anti redness um, is drugstore but it's in another project pan so I didn't choose it but I'm using that in combination with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and because the um, product is green I have to really work it into my skin and there are some days that I just don't feel like spending the time I just want to slap something on and go so I had picked out this Maybelline baby skin to um, finish up this year as well as the L'Oreal anti redness so I figured I would go ahead and start using this Maybelline baby skin and get some progress on this so even though I may not finish one or the other or maybe not even both this year I will at least have progress on both and I will have at least worked towards 
um, finishing up both of these products this year. So this is brand new. Um, I did not weigh this. Uh, I weighed one of my other products, but I forgot to weigh this. So I will weigh this before I post this video and I will um, kind of put that right here and um, let you know how much this weighs because that's probably the best way I'm going to be able to um, see progress as well as trying to um, kind of, you know, squeeze it down and mark it. But I do want to have a starting weight on this product. So this is the first product. Um, this is the second product that I'm going to be putting into this project pan. The third product is a foundation product. This is my Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. This is a little bit of a cheat because I have been using this. This is my foundation of choice right now. So I'm going to be using this anyways, but hey, um, you know, why not show you know the progress that I'm making on it I am going back and forth between this and one other so you know this may help me focus a little more on this one and getting more progress on this one and finishing it the current weight on this product right now is 2.1 ounces and um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm at there's some air in this so um, it's hard for me to really gauge where I'm at with the product so I'm gonna go with the weight of 2.1 ounces and we will see where we are at the first update for this product. The next product that I have is also a brand new, never been used product, and this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have not used this. I have been very intrigued by this. The beauty community has been all about this product. I love the smell of this. I didn't want to purchase this because I do have a Buxom bronzer that I love so very much that smells very, very similar to this. So, if it was about the scent alone, I have that product and I love the shade, but um, I wanted to try this because everybody loves this product so much. So I am starting brand new with this. This um, is a product that I have seen some people say is very easy to hit pan on. So I thought maybe that would be a good thing to um, work on and see if I could hit pan on this by the end of the year. And once I do, see how far I can get because I've heard also that it goes very quickly after you hit pan. So that is the fourth and second to last product that I have in my Budget Beauties Project Pan. I'm not quite sure why I keep saying it throughout the video. I'm sorry if that's annoying, but uh, just sounds right to me. Um, the last product I picked is this Wet n Wild Makeup Remover, and I am currently down to here on this product. Now, this might seem, again, like something that I'm just using all the time. It's a gimme product. It's almost done. Um, that may be. Um, that may be a thing, but the reason why is I... I don't like this product and I can feel myself gravitating towards not using it. I have been using my makeup wipes to take off my eye makeup rather than messing with this. It stings my eyes a bit. I don't feel like it works very well. Um, I love the concept of this pump on the top where you just press it down and the product comes out onto your um, sponge that you're using, um, your cloth that you're using to take your makeup off however it sticks and it ends up squirting out the side and that's annoying plus like I said it says it's for eyes lips and face it says it's micellar cleansing water based it does have an oil it is um, like a by um, you know a duo kind of, you know it's got the oily and the regular liquid in it so that you mix the two together um, but it does it burns my eyes and I don't like it so I just want to get this out of here so I will mark this um, for where it's at at the start of this project this is not a rolling project I feel like I need to mention that because it does have you know not very many products but the reason for that is a lot of us have a lot of projects going on already so um, we wanted to do another one to close out the year however we didn't want to overwhelm ourselves so this is not a rolling project pan this is a you know finish these products and get them out um, just finish up five or try to finish up five project pan um, what else did I not mention I think um, as far as updates go I'm not sure how the ladies are doing updates I think we decided on monthly updates considering this is um, almost a six month project it's I think about five months through the end of the year so um, 
you know, so I think we'll be updating monthly. So that is it for my Budget Beauties Project Pan intro. Please go ahead and check out the ladies down below. If you're new to their channels, please subscribe to them, like, comment on this, this video, as well as all of their other videos. Just show them love. And if you're new to my video, um, if you're new to my channel from any of the other ladies, welcome. Thank you for coming, and um, I hope you guys enjoy my channel. I haven't been able to give my channel the love that it deserves in the last couple months, but I love doing this. I love project panning, and um, I'm working on getting back to a regular stream of videos. But that being said, even if I'm not posting videos, I am working on all of my products in all of my project pans, and I will eventually get caught up. But thank you guys for being here, and thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next videos.